Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Erickson TV. Curtis here with Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hey, everybody. Hey, Lauren. Uh, we're set here uh, at a news desk to kind of par <laughs> parody the news media. Uh, this is not an official media report, but we <laughs> we wanted to talk about the after the aftermath of this so-called fiscal cliff. I guess you would call it scare. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Which for investors was nothing. Right. Uh, in fact, what what did happen in the investment market? Oh, oh, I guess. With all the things that happen with our natural disasters, you right. know, global warming, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, all the different, you know, very tragic uh, damage done to, uh, you know, to some of uh, some of our, uh, you know, right. weather and real everything. natural disasters. Real natural disasters. But we had this disaster that kept talking about the fiscal cliff. Uh, <laughs> Not a real the media disaster. was the media was frantic about. Oh it. yeah. Um, as you know, hourly hourly reports uh, oh, yeah. in the last few weeks. Uh, in fact, I was on a vacation in Mexico, and that was on Mexican TV down there. <laughs> uh, Mexican news media, CNN was right. picking up the fiscal cliff uh, issues. So, what what happened with our investment markets last year? They went up. Okay. And everything went up. Uh, double digit returns for both U.S. and foreign stocks. Mm -hmm. um, even foreign stocks did great, despite the fact that unemployment hit a new high in Europe. So that's again a real problem, not like our fiscal cliff, which was a lot of political wrangling. Uh, despite all the bad news, despite all the uncertainty. Uh, stocks went up. I noticed and went uh, up quite a bit. Yeah, and I, I noticed that with all the, the negative media attention, uh, it was relatively consistent throughout the every month of last year where there were net outflows from equity mutual funds. And almost every month the markets would go up. Right. And people were still taking their money up. Right. Yeah, that's that's uh, that is uh, really abnormal. I mean, we're very used to seeing. The stock markets go up, people put their money right. in. Stock markets go down, people take their money out. The stock markets haven't been going down since 2008 with any degree of consistency, right. or 2009, excuse me, since any with any degree of consistency, and people are still just taking their right. money out. Does not make any so sense. So that tells me the behavior, the behavior part of investing is still the hardest thing for investors. Absolutely. I do know if, uh, our clients uh, that are many that are watching this episode. Uh, remain extremely disciplined and stayed invested in the market and allowed us to, to do the rebalancing. And, right. and so I, I commend you clients uh, that are current clients of ours. If you're not a current client of ours and you are feeling frustration about the investment process, uh, please feel free to give myself or Lauren a, a call. We'd be glad to talk to you. Um, any last final thoughts about the fiscal cliff? Well, you know, the, yeah, we're going to keep hearing this stuff. Right. I mean, there's just going to be... There's going to be a debt ceiling thing. Yes, and then there'll be something after that and something after that. And one of these days, something bad really will happen. But I don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know when it's going to happen. And the secret is, nobody knows when it's going to happen. Right. All this other stuff is just scare tactics, and there will be always be something right. and to the, get and, people worried about. And at about. the end of the day, if you succumb to what if, you know, based on what the media is blurring out, you're off. You're often going to miss many great returns. That's in right. Portfolio. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Erickson TV. We'll see you next time. Bye now. See you next time.